Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Siobhan reporting live from Galway and I will be going around the local pubs and establishments that are still open despite the corona ban uh, just to see their incentives and hopefully get a glass of wine, <laughs> I might add. First stop, the bike shed. Good evening, Tia. Oh, it's Paddy. Hello. How are Hello you doing, Paddy? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you, Paddy? I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you. You're still open, Mike. Can you tell us why? Well, I, it's the 15 children I've got to feed, oh, of course. Oh, well, that is a lot of children, Paddy, it, to be it, fair. It is, I have it. And how are you expecting to feed all the children with, with all these no customers, Mike? Well, I'm open for more customers like yourself, breaking the ban, you know. Oh, really? Like a bit of advertising uh, in that? Uh, if, uh, if you watch play. this, uh, you're going to put this on that uh, E-tube. E-tube, yeah, to be fair. I'm sure that'll bring them in. Yes. The electronic <laughs> tube, yeah. Right? The E-tube. Yeah, well, Paddy, if you don't mind, I'll have a glass of fine oh, red yeah, chardonnay, yeah, please. Yeah, I've got some just here. Can you... Can you Absolutely, uh, I'll help you out there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that's magic, is that, Paddy? Yeah, I've been killing for one of these, the whole bloody ban. Ah, oh, delightful, that is. Right, Paddy. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll be off now. Us. See you I'll, later. Bye, Paddy. Yeah, yeah. It might be a while, to be fair, but uh, yeah, good luck with that, Paddy. So um, I'll be off to my, my next pub. Um, this one, you know, it's a bit lighter space. It's, you can see the greenery in there. It's, it's actually got its own pot and shed, like, um, you know, they, they do their own food and that, and they grow it on the, on, the actual, on the actual premises, which is just absolutely bloody mental, if you ask me, coming from London, after all these years being away from Galway. But um, yeah, this next one, I'll be visiting Seamus, and uh, Seamus, He's not doing so well anymore, to be fair, with the ban. You all right, Seamus? You all right? So this is um, glass houses that we're, we're in now. Um, Hello to you, out there. How, how are things, Seamus? It's, it's not bad at the moment. Business I'm, I'm getting booming. One every day, yeah. One every day. Oh, it's more than usual, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People coming around, not yeah. going up by party. It's the same person that. every day. Really? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Who, who'd be that be? Well, it's yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't be yeah. out in me. You're yeah. my best customer so far. Oh, wow. Uh, you know. I take it you want some more wine, eh? <laughs> Ah, uh, that, that's great. <laughs> Seamus, I don't know how you know my favourite one, to be fair. See you later then, huh? I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Seamus, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it won't be seen tomorrow because actually I haven't been going out with the ban. And to be honest, I don't really know where he's getting these ideas from. But, you know, that these barmans are like, I'll just leave them to their madness. So the next establishment has actually got a roof bar. Um, and for Ireland, that's that's almost unheard of. We've only just discovered the wheel. So it's it's pretty fantastic. Um, now this this local man, he he spends a lot of time looking at other people. You know, he likes people watching and that. Um, so I'll be intrigued to see what he's been seeing uh, on the ground, to, as it were, as it were, to be fair. Um, I'll be getting another glass of red, red wine, if I can say it. Um, but knock knock. Hello there. Hi, hi, Sean. How are things? That's not bad, thank you. Yourself? Oh, it's it, it's cracking. It's quite high up here, though, isn't it? Oh it, wow. It's, it's one of these going up places, pubs. You know. Oh, it's go you're going up in the world, are you? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I, well, I was just saying to my audience there, Hello, Sean, audience there. that um, I just wanted to see what you're seeing on the ground. You know, like being up here, you've got a great view of things. I, I'm looking for the uh, the guard. You know. The guard? Uh, the well, guard? They'll be coming down that road any minute. Uh, really? Have they been closing places down, like? Aye, but well, as long as you don't publicise it too much, you should be okay. Well, that's safe to say we won't be publicising this anywhere special. It'll just be going on Galway Local News. Okay. Um, I'd love a glass of your finest red Chardonnay, I've got please. i just here. Uh, I'll just, hang on, give me a second, I'll just down. There we go, Sean, that's absolutely fantastic. Wonderful news. Right, sure, and I'll be seeing you later then. Hopefully See when this van goes. I'll bloody hell, man, you need a bloody trampoline. Hell. How'd you get down here after a few pints? Never mind, get down. I'm not gonna get out of here. Got a broken foot, Sean, for God's sake. You need a disabled access, you do. Right now, um, my next stop is actually one of the finest establishments in Galway. It's it's bloody fantastic, and they've actually got heating, which is great. Um, now, something that I have been 
a bit unsure of in <laughs> in my um in my travels here is how for granted we have been taking our pubs and our bars and now they've all gone and i don't know about you but actually i don't even look at the barmen they all look the bloody same to me especially in ireland they all look the fucking same so i think this is a real good opportunity to be able to distinguish the different characters and the different personalities of the different bars um so my next stop like i said our finest establishment in galway and this this one is is called the chimneys um because of the fireplace that i mentioned and um the fact it exerts fire ah mcginnis McGuinness, McGuinness, how here. are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm just, um, I'm just reading there, waiting for my next customer. Wonderful, wonderful. I ah, see you haven't got the fire, McGuinness. That's me reading my bloody it's, 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 it's been too warm today <laughs> for the been, fire. It's been really warm, has it, to be fair. It has been quite warm, but you know what will make it a bit warmer? Your finest glass of red Chardonnay, Chardonnay. Ah, that'll be I, crap. I heard from the other guys in the local pubs that you like the red Chardonnay. Have you got your own network going or something around here? I've been... Uh, uh, everyone's been Bosch Telegraph, they call it, hey. The Bosch Telegraph? <laughs> the Bosch. 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 <laughs> the Bosch. I've been drinking it myself. Have you been spending a lot of lonely time <laughs> A lot of lonely time, yes. <laughs> and what have you been doing, McGuinness, during the ban? Well, we're reading about the 17 children, of course. It's 17 children, by Jove. And where's the wife? Well, she's having a rest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that's all I need, actually. Good night, uh, then. Good night, McGuinness. Thank you very much for your beer now. For your, for your red wine and that. Bye. So, to conclude, ladies and gentlemen... Um, I I think you know we've learned a lot about the the Irish drinking scene, um, the local identity, and the the reasons why these these local men are staying open. Um, my last stop is actually one of my favourite. One of my favourite. I know I said I'd do a last stop, but actually we've got a surprise visit. Um, this used to be one of the old nightclubs. And actually, many a men in Ireland said that they loved this place, loved it, to pick up chicks. Um, now, I've never known what they meant by that, because I've never been as a local woman myself. But, but now I have um, decided to give it a visit. So, so here I am at, at the Chick Centre. And this is not what I expected. Um, but, but I'll give you guys a look. Oh, we've got a lock on this door. Goodness me. We're having a lock in here. <laughs> You're having a lock. Ah, no. Just I'm, I'm going to keep that locked in, actually. <laughs> I don't want to risk, Hello there. risk any escapes. Now, um, Paddy McFinney. Um, McFinn. Phoenix. I. McWhat? Phoenix. I uh, I heard that this was the best place to pick up chicks. And, it is and the best heard, place. I've got four nice birds over here. When I heard that, I, this isn't really what I was expecting. Good God, that's freaking them out, isn't it? Right. It um, certainly is. They can see themselves there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's really, that's really, really scaring them. Right, right, um, McGuinness, I'll have a another glass please of your finest i'll have to do it through here because uh, uh, i see they've got a little now i've heard about we these don't want the guard coming in so i've got a gate and i've uh, i've locked that for, there you go it's a nice top up for you that's absolutely fantastic thank you um what can you tell me about being in a locked in um compared to being in lockdown what is the key difference well me and the girls thought it'd be a good idea to keep the place open and nobody would suspect that we were really a pub, you know. Right, I see. And um, what are people thinking that you are like? Well, you've heard the, the brewery called Indy Coop. Well, I'm in the coop uh, with the chicks, I, you see. Uh, it's absolutely that's excellent that's banter, that is. That is I, I've been thinking of that one all day. <laughs> Just in case I got a customer again. <laughs> is you know. that what you've been doing with your day, then? Well, I keep working, you see. I've got to keep the place going for the 19 children. Oh, the 19, 19 children. children. Hell, Christ. You, barman, and absolutely setting the bar high. That's all I can say. Um, and ladies and gentlemen... It's been a pleasure uh, speaking to you today. And even though I know I've been saying that it's the last stop every time, us Irish people don't really know what the last stop is. 
so so i'll be i'll be checking in one more time to the the local the local the last local bar that there is um this is one of my again one of, one of my favorites you can see there's a lot of favorites and i don't know whether that's whether they serve alcohol or whether it's the the talent behind the bar um this is actually siobhan spa um she's a lovely lady she is um she's docking on a bit now and to be honest i just want to see how the the quarantine has been affecting her because uh, i know things were a bit rough with her husband like after their 23 children so i just wanted to see um just to check in with siobhan really siobhan are you there my love Siobhan, ah, Siobhan, oh, man, nice to see you again. How, how are things? It's not bad, I, I, I was just giving my legs a rest. Oh wow, what, what have you been doing on your legs Siobhan? Oh, my le what do I normally <laughs> do on my legs? I've been serving folk coming to the window. Oh, has it been a busy day for you Siobhan? It's, it, it is now, yeah, oh, I've nice. got a queue. Um, <laughs> all these chicks behind me to be fair. Um, Siobhan, I've got to say, love, you're, you're looking a bit worse for wear. Um, your hair is going, um, and your eyesight. It's the stress. It's, it's the, the stress. stress. The stress of what, Siobhan? It's the stress of the twenty-two children. The twenty. Well, I I actually told my audience it's twenty-three now. Twenty. Uh, oh, of course, one? one of them was a twin. One of them was uh, a twin. Uh, we don't count that one. And his sister, she's six months older. Yeah, uh, I forgot right. about them too. Ah, uh, right. It's the six-month-older twin. Right. Yep, that that's it. That's twenty-three here. Yeah. yeah, twenty-three. And and where are they be going now? I don't see any of them. Like. Well, they won't work in the bar because they're doing the proper lockdown and they, they're annoyed with me for working and keeping the, go, the place going, you know. Is that because they wanted to be on the bar, like, having a drink, like, and that? No, no, it's, they, they think I should be listening to what the government is saying and staying at home on my own. And what do you think about that, Siobhan? Well, I need the money, you know. And how much money would you expect to receive from opening an establishment like this? Well, I was open to earn a lot more money than I've been getting, but I've been talking... To some of the local barmen around here, and apparently there's some harpy going around getting free drinks, pretending to be making some kind of video. <laughs> I don't know about free drinks, Siobhan. I've had to slog my arse off walking to all these different pubs now. Yeah. So I expect you're expecting a free drink here. Aye, hey, Siobhan, if you don't mind, you'll have the finest of your red chardonnay. I've only got the you. red chardonnay, yeah. Ah, uh, thank you. That's all I want, actually, to be fair. Well... Thank you. God, I'll be go. absolutely on the razz after this. Do well, you know thank what? you for coming. I better go now because they, I, I think I can hear the I guard. I think I can hear a guard as well. Just in time before I don't have to give him my money now. Thank you, Siobhan. Bye now, pet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with me throughout this long journey. Um, I really appreciate it. We do get paid per minute here. So um, if you've if you've lasted out the almost 13 minutes now, I, I really appreciate that um, because I'll be 13 euro the richer. Um, I guess it's peace out for me and just remember to keep on socially distancing and um just to thank our lovely our lovely barmen um men out on and women out on the town over and out